good to have you back here. Um, so today I will be teaching you how to use this magic tape. It is called the hemming tape, hemming gum, hemming bond, uh, hemming glue, anything that it is called. But this is what it looks like. It, it's in um, two different colors, in white and then in black. So what this thing is used for, as the name implies, is to put your hem in place. So if you have a loose stitch like this, and you do not have time to use a needle and thread to tack it, and you also do not want to use a pin to put it in place, you can quickly use this as a seemingly permanent solution to putting your stitch in place. So very quickly, I'll also be telling you what we'll be needing for this you'll be needing your hemming tape, of course, and you'll be needing your iron. If you have a steam iron, perfect. If you have a dry iron, you will need a source of water. And that is why we have this bottle here. If you have a spray bottle, c'est parfait. Um, but if you do not, I have improvised um, with this bottle. I simply drilled a hole on the cap. If you do not have a bottle, that is when you can use a towel. What you do is to soak it in the water and then squeeze when need be. Without any further stories, let's go right into the practical. I forgot to mention that I got this for 500 Naira here in Lagos. So if you're outside Lagos or you're outside Nigeria, you can always get it on Amazon for less than a dollar. Hmm? No, less than $2 actually. You can get it for less than $2. They come in different brands. So, um, if you want a very good brand, you obviously know that it will cost more money. But this is a brandless tape and it works well for me. Um, if you have options to get an expensive um, hemming tape, yes, why not? You can. But remember that DIYs, we're not supposed to spend so much money in getting things done for ourselves. Okay, so now let's go right into the matter. So, this is the fabric I'll be using for my illustration today. This is um, one I earlier did. As a matter of fact, I deleted that video by mistake. But we are going to redo it. All right, so. Now this is a rough edge that you want to tape just like this. Measure, say for instance, you want to hem from here to here. You just simply measure. You cut it out and my iron is already plugged so you turn it you wet it it's easier to use a spray bottle if you do have a spray bottle kindly use a spray bottle when it is wet you use your hot iron on it Make sure that the iron doesn't touch the tape. If it touches the tape, it is going to burn it. So you see, the iron gently. Gently, gently, gently. Make sure you don't burn your cloth. You have to be very careful. Okay, oops, so hot. If you can see, you would see that it's actually coming already. This part that is not glued is because um, gum didn't get there. The gum didn't get there. So, this is it. This is what, what it looks like. You allow it to dry a bit. This was what it was before, and this is what it is now. So, if you need. so I'm going to show you how to use it on a thicker fabric. This is a jean fabric. In the video I did earlier that I deleted by mistake, I used the hemming tape on this side. Luckily for me, I didn't finish hemming everything, so I'm going to use this. This is just to show that um, it works perfectly on any fabric. You just need to be patient um, in ironing the tape comb on the fabric. So, now for that, I'm doing it. I'm doing from here to here.
careful not to burn your cloth. If you if you want to use this tape on a nylon fabric, I would suggest that you don't iron directly on that fabric. For instance, you can just place another fabric on it like this and then iron. That's if you are using it if you you want to hem a nylon fabric. But if it's not a nylon fabric, you can always iron directly on the fabric, but inside, not outside. So you see, oops, it lets it get cold before you do your try and error. Let's it get cold. When it is cold, that is when you let's see. For instance, all this I did see that. completely glued so when this gets cold you can even see already that it is oops it's glued so basically you know what the hemming gum is used for um, it is used to put your hems your stitches loose stitches in place so I would now show you how to do it on um, a sleeve that has a loose stitch yeah so um, guys will relate more to this practical because the hem of their trousers sometimes is not most of the time actually is not in place so you see that the sleeve of um, the hem of this sleeve is not in place and I don't want to use pin to put it in place anymore so what I will do is turn it inside out because this fabric is not too friendly with heat so I would rather iron on the reverse you measure okay, so we'll be doing here to here that's like here to here cut it and as you can see that um, the hemming tape is actually larger than the um, sleeve hem so you want to be you want to carefully put it and fold it correctly Help. you can see perfectly fold it cut every excess just cut the way because we don't want the iron to touch after that you would wet it wet it and then put your iron Careful not to burn your cloth. <laughs> so instead of using pin, safety pin to put this in place, you can do this. It doesn't take too long to do this. Two minutes, you're done. A minute, you're done. Oops. Hot, hot. Mm. And voila. You have your, your sleeve back to life so I can wear this without using a pin to put it in place that's the basic use of a hemming tape but there are so many other things you can use the hemming tape for that I will be showing you in subsequent videos Thank you for watching. If you do not know where to get the hemming tape, put your comment. You comment on this video and I'll um, direct you to where I got mine here in Lagos. So I want you to try it and give me your feedback on how well the hemming tape worked for you. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe.